Oh, baby falls. Yeah. Okay. So a little little bathroom and a little place where you can yeah come through here. So you guys can get a quick peek. Yeah. So there's a couple little picnic tables, a little parking area, some. I would I wouldn't call them rapids. I'd call them falls. But, uh, so yeah, we got an information sign. Okay, I was trash receptacles. So that'd be a cool little place to, you know, have, have, a, have a lunch or whatever. So yeah, there's a little drop right there. It's like three feet. Like I said, I would consider that more rapids than falls. But... But yeah, so that's Baby Falls day use area. North River Campground. Oh. Whoa, that is a massive hole. So we're just gonna take a cruise through. So yeah, each spot is flat, a leveled table, fire ring, lantern holder. Uh, so you got you know a tent pad, or you can just back up in there. Um, you got some smaller spots. You got some bigger spots. Male, and female bathrooms, trash. Uh, like this one, you could probably get. A 40, 50 footer in there, maybe. Most of these, though, are going to be smaller for smaller rigs. How's it going? These are pretty cool campsites. And uh, I believe it's $10 a night. We'll stop and look at the information board on the way out. Yeah, that would be my choice, that one right there. That we just passed. No barking, Lucy. No barking. She's probably not gonna listen. No barking. No. I know you see the doggies, but no barking. That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. No barking. So she did listen. She doesn't always listen. <laughs> so there are no water spigots here, just to give you guys a heads up. I don't think any of these campgrounds have water. Okay, so actually $8 a night, $4 with pass discount. Um, they honor the senior, the America the Beautiful, and the Golden Age. Passes here. 14 day limit, pets on a leash. Quiet time is from 10 to 8. Um, this is bear country. So, uh, yeah. This is a pretty cool little campground. So there's not that many. There's, what, 11, 10? Yeah, 10 sites. And that's, that's how all these campgrounds through here are. They're all small. Like this. Good girl. No barking. Even though the other doggy barked at you. So yeah, this is the North River Campground. So 
So yeah, it's paved going back to, going back up the other way, so you can't access it from the top. But yeah, that one right there, that would be the that would be the nicest one to have, I think. Farthest one away from the bathroom, but you got your own little trail that comes down here to the river. Yeah. So anyways, um, um See, what do we got here? On. Ooh, they got water here. So this is the North River checking station. Uh, some bathrooms and uh, dump station, water. Okay, that's to clean the RV. Okay, here we go. Actually, we need to turn around. Potable water. So yeah, so they got both uh, water to clean your tanks with, and then drinking water. And then what do we got here? Uh, trash and just information, information sign. Water tanks are on Lucy's side, so I gotta. It's just easier. I didn't say it was one way. I don't think it really matters. Alright, guys, it's gonna take a few minutes to fill up the water. We'll catch you back here in a few minutes. Okay, here's the campground Spivey Cove Campground. Let's, uh, it's closed. Okay, that one was, I don't even think that was on the map. What the heck is that? Bear Paw Cabin. Huh. Private property. Mountain Lake and what? Oh, okay. So that one road back there where I was like, I wonder where that goes. That's the road we came down. Because I remember passing through here late, late at night. So this is all private property through here. So there's some cabins. Uh, some of these are actually, uh, what do you call that? Airbnb or whatever? You know, where you can go online and reserve it. And then some are just regular homes. Deed restricted community. What does deed restricted mean? Oh, wow. The motel here. Huh. I didn't know that. I came through here, it was late at night and it was all dark. So, RV park? This is like a permanent RV park. Not the kind you pull in for one night. Little cabins, Green Cove store and lodge, some more little motels. Yeah, so there's a, there's a little store here. That's pretty cool. Camp Wood. Not only for guests. That's pretty neat. Okay, here comes a campground. 
This is Sourwood Campground. Let's check this one out. Ooh, there's some big, big ruts here. Potholes, ruts. Wow, I can fit the whole truck in that one. Damn. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Is this like a dispersed? I think it is. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it is dispersed because there's no fee collection. Well, this is pretty cool. Um, it is windy and cold, by the way. So yeah, you got, uh, looks like two, maybe three campsites here. I would not bring an RV in here, by the way. So, I mean, there's some big rocks right there. But right here on the, on the river. In fact, I gotta be careful and thread our way through these. Yeah, you can probably get two or three people in here, or rigs in here. I'm talking about overlanding off-road rigs, not RV rigs. And then you got some more over there. Oh. That's a pretty nice one right there, pretty flat area. Let's see, then you got uh, another one there. Got a couple more over here. See, this is pretty cool. Without bargain. Okay, here goes. See, this is the first campground that's on the on, on the map. This one. So this is Birch Branch. Uh, unisex bathroom. Huh. Uh, ten dollars. Five dollars with pass. And. Uh, So yeah, nice level spots, picnic tables, fire rings, lantern holders, you know, the, pretty much this is going to be the same at every every one of these. There's only five spots here, um, but they're pretty cool, pretty nice. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to stay at this one. The one I want to the one I want to stay at is is next to the last, I think. Definitely lots of room. So, uh, all right. Here's the next campground. This one looks pretty full. Um, <coughs> this one is also ten dollars. This is Davis Branch. 
unisex bathroom trash pretty much the same as all the others but just kind of want to give you guys a quick little cure Yeah, I didn't do a video, but okay. Here we go. Holder Cove Campground. This pretty much the same is gonna. It's gonna all the information is gonna be the same. See, I like that number one spot right there. I mean, yeah, it's right next to the bathroom, but. Uh, that one. Somebody moved that picnic table. behind it's okay so yeah this one's got what six seven seven spots I think there's two or three more uh, we don't find something better we're gonna come back and snatch that one back there because I, I like that one okay here's Big Oak Cove campground um and the Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and all that area. Oh, it's closed. Okay. Interesting. All the rest of them are open, but this one's closed. Actually, I think there's only one more. Yeah, I remember I remember seeing that on the website that that one was closed, and then I think there's State Line, and then that's it, because State Line is at the State Line. But I think State Line is the one I wanted to stay at. So... Now, maybe there's another one after this, because this is Rough Ridge. I don't remember seeing this one on the, on the map either. This is a group. Yeah, these are group sites. Because there's two picnic tables, two lantern holders. The site is really, really big. Now, this bathroom has both male and female. Yeah, see, it's... Okay, well, they do have single... I guess one person could pull in here. Um, but these are mainly, you know, double site. So yeah, if you're traveling with somebody, a buddy or, or some family or whatever, you know, that that's a good spot for you guys right there because, you know, you can be in the same campsite if you want to. And here's the state line. This is the biggest one, I think. There's the bathrooms, and that is it. Yep. All right. We're going to go back to the other one, guys. So, yeah, that's the road out of here. Yeah, sometimes this is flooded. Actually, is this the side we want to go in? Yeah. Uh, 
I wouldn't have to use my ladder. Uh. All right, guys. Um, let me figure out how we're going to get set up. Oh, there's looks like a little trail. Yeah, there's some trails right there. Okay. Um, let me figure out how we're going to set up and get all set up, and then we'll do a walk around and and whatnot. So we'll catch you guys here in a little bit. A few minutes later. Water dog. I'm not getting in there with you. <laughs> it's too cold for me. Go play. Get that water. Get the water. So yeah, we got let her off the leash for a few minutes. There's nobody here with us. Uh, there's like one car every 30, 40 minutes go by. So I know she was really wanting to get in the water. So we're going to let her play in the water for a few minutes. A water dog. Be careful. Don't get too far. It's okay. She's not off the leash much, so she's not used to it, and she's she just want to make sure it's okay. Is it too cold? Is that why you're not splashing around? You look pitiful. Thought you wanted to get in the water. All right, so we're gonna hopefully try and get this done before the wind picks back up. So, uh, so yeah, this is uh, Holder Cove Campground. Uh, hey, silly dog. Um, so we're in spot number one. Here's our setup for the next the next day. There's a the silly dog. She's got her a stick. <laughs> She's still wet from getting in the water a little while ago. So, uh, yeah, they like said this is spot number one. There's, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, there's six, no, seven spots here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this, this little spot here. We're close to the bathroom, so if we gotta go, we're close by. Um, again, this is a, uh, Fee required. It's ten dollars for single site. Five dollars with uh, any of the passes, and they do honor all of them. So, uh, yeah, it is just pretty much, you know, it's pretty much standard for service rules. You know, keep pets on a leash, camp a park in designated area, fourteen days, respect other people. You know, uh. Don't cut anything down, no fireworks, no alcohol, no littering. You know, hunting and fishing requires a license, bear country. Uh, and a little welcome about the Cherokee National Forest. Flash flood hazard. So. But yeah, um, we're not getting too elaborate with the setup. Uh, we just got the two awnings and the tent out. We ain't got no extra awnings up. It's not supposed to rain. Um, plus, it's been kind of windy. Right now, it's it's died. It's not dead. So, uh, but yeah, it was pretty pretty tough. And uh, here in a little bit, we're gonna do a review, 90 day review on the Jackery and the Gold Zero. Um, 
Right now the sun's almost pretty much overhead, so that's why I got them laying flat. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, that's where Lucy was a few minutes ago, playing in the water. And then we got, uh, I got some teas down there in the, in the water, getting cold. Nature's, uh, refrigerator. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, right here from, I mean, okay, there's the fire ring, there's the campsite boundary, and then there's the river. So yeah, we're really close, there's a bunch of different ways to get down there. Um... And all the sites are like that. Actually, they do step up in elevation a little bit the farther down you go. Those are a little bit higher down there. Um, I just wanted to be close to the bathroom in case you got to go in a hurry. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice, clear sky. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this when the wind's picking up, and uh, we'll see you guys here in a bit.